a week ago, the Old Dominion basketball team was ranked in the top 25 for the first time in school history. A loss to Western Kentucky Saturday knocked them out of the national rankings. But tonight, back home, it's time to start anew. I'm Bruce Rader, live at the Ted Constance Center in Norfolk. It is time for Conference USA basketball. The Old Dominion Monarchs taking on Rice and ODU with a spectacular start to the season thus far. Their best start ever, and this just the second year under new head coach Jeff Jones. Too many turnovers, too many fouls against Western Kentucky last weekend, and the Hilltoppers had the always important home court advantage, something that Old Dominion hopes to have tonight. It's great. You better believe that these guys are excited to be back at, at the TED uh, the, this week, um, and, and, and hopefully, uh, you know, we'll have great crowds and a great home court advantage. That was the one thing, you know, at Western Kentucky, that was a great home court advantage for them. It was a great college basketball atmosphere reminded me a lot of, of, uh, of the Ted when the Ted is rocking. And the Ted is expected to be rocking tonight. Old Dominion against Rice tipping off in less than 30 minutes. I'll have highlights coming up tonight at 1045 on the Fox 43 Sports Wrap. Joining me now is the athletic director here at Old Dominion, Dr. Wood Seelig. What an exciting last couple of weeks for your basketball fans. This has been great. A first ever top 25 ranking. Our students have definitely responded. This is the first game that we're going to have in Conference USA for 2015. Our students picked up all of their 1,600 tickets in a matter of days. So our student section is sold out. We're going to have a close to capacity crowd here tonight. Winning brings in the fans. Yeah, you go 13-2, and two, you get ranked in the top 25. People notice we sold over 300 tickets online in 24 hours yesterday. So Hampton Roads is definitely responding to the success of ODU basketball. Who would have thought that in less than two seasons, Coach Jeff Jones would have been, have been able to turn this program around like he did? It sounds like a very smart hire on your part. <laughs> Well, we're very fortunate to have Coach Jones and his staff, and it is a remarkable turnaround. He inherited some talented student athletes. He brought in a, a, another group of very talented athletes. So we're very fortunate to be situated where we are right now with a chance to regain our momentum, try and get back to the top 25, try and win a Conference USA championship. All right, Dr. Selig, thanks for being with us. Go welcome your fans, and hopefully we'll get you back in the top 25. That's our, cross our fingers. Thanks, Bruce. All right.